My name's Julian Price and I own Pig & Co where we produce gourmet free-range sausages from our own uh, herd of free-range rare breed pigs. We use a commercial feed uh, that we source locally and that's just made from grain and barley and wheat. The cost of feed has gone up 40% from where we started. In terms of keeping the pigs, raising the pork and putting it on the butchery table, it probably accounts for 80 to 90% uh, of the total cost of the final pork. In the UK at the moment, the state of the pig industry is really not a good state at all. It's got to the point now where, for example, I can buy a leg of pork in most of the leading supermarkets for a pound a kilo cheaper than I can put my own pig on my own butchery table to make sausages. I believe that there is a very strong business case uh, for feeding food waste and commercial food waste to pigs. I've not yet come across a customer, and I have discussed it at length with many of them, who have any problem at all with us feeding our animals with commercial catering waste. The more varied diet I feed my pigs, quite simply, the better tasting is the pork. If we could get hold of commercial catering waste that had been properly treated and was safe and regulated, then that would make a huge difference uh, to our business, uh, and in fact would make the difference between profit and loss. It seems really quite insane that we are both chopping down rainforest or giving over good arable land in this country to growing crops which we then feed to animals. There are many pig farmers who are very keen to get back to a situation where we can feed catering waste to pigs. At the moment I can't exercise my choice which is to feed my pigs in that way because of the way the law is. What we have now is a waste of waste. As if there were no change then from a personal perspective that would make life and my business increasingly difficult and in fact bordering on unsustainable. She's a good girl. There's a good girl. All of us in our lives, at some point in our lives, will need the services of a good doctor or a good lawyer or a good solicitor once or twice in our lives. But every day of your life, three times a day, you need the services of a farmer. And if we're not here, because we've not been supported, then that's going to challenge the food security of this country because we're going to have to import a lot more food. We're going to be bringing food in from systems that have far lower animal standards than ours, where traceability is an issue. So I ask you to support British farming for that reason. It benefits all of us. And the best way I feel you can do that is go to thepigidea.org and sign the pledge and support the change.